I have a challenge for you. Or more accurately, Colonel Sandburge does. He wants Captain Briggsy's skull plus a barrel of grog, and in return you'll earn yourself a whole lot of coin. My name's Coach, and this is the Sea of Thieves. For those of you who don't know, Sea of Thieves is a first-person ship combat video game full of magic and booty. Yes, that's right, I said magical booty. Now you might be wondering what I'm doing in the middle of the ocean, and honestly, I couldn't tell you. This is part two of the Grog Barrel Challenge, so if you haven't seen the first part, click here. If you have, then... Ah, shark! I do not understand. We should have found it by now. I know, right? My mind is blown. We have to be doing something wrong. Did anyone else hear that? No. What are you talking about? I heard it. What's going on? Ah, I hear it again. Make it stop. It's giving me anxiety. Emily, what's wrong? Oh my god, the ship is sinking. Oh wow. my god! Something is happening! What is happening? Wow. I need to lay off the grog. We're going right for a rock. Oh my god, we're gonna hit it. Captain, we're about to hit a rock! I see it! Everybody, hold on! The ship started to whip wildly around, leaving us all screaming in fear. All I could do is hold on for dear life and pray that whatever magic has taken hold of us would go away. <laughs> hold on to something! Oh, I can't move! Oh, I need more grog. My screen is just freaking out. I'm getting off the ship. I had no choice but to order the crew to abandon ship. With all of us now in the water, the ship began to levitate. Oh, my head hurts. I don't know what to do. The ship is just freaking out. The ship, look, she's flying. <gasps> Take us, almighty oh logger lords. Lead us, lead us to the barrel of a thousand grogs. Ah! Whoa, I'm back on the ship. Is everyone okay? Hi, I'm here. I fell off the boat. I disconnected. I'm gonna have to rejoin. Holy hell! There's a ship within firing range! Raise the front sail! Mount the cannons! Bring me some grog! And for God's sake, will somebody swab the deck? He's saying ahoy! Keep firing. Aim for his mast. I got him! Aw oh, man, why did I have to fall off the boat? I'm missing all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, good shot. Now leave him be. A reaper's bounty, I can see. With everybody back on the ship, we forge onward towards a reaper's mark. Once near, we raise sails and everybody but I go overboard as they begin to search the wreckage for booty. I'm still reeling from earlier, like what? Oh my god, I see something! What is it? Is that? It's a barrel of grog! Really? Yeah! Finally, after searching for so long! To my surprise, the crew found not one, but two barrels of grog, along with a chest of reapers. Blessed with the gift of grog, our hopes of success soared to new heights as we celebrated like true pirates by heading to the nearest tavern to swig some grog and- Sirens! Everybody back to the ship! Oh my god, that siren one-tapped me! Emily, you're right there! Save my soul! Slip that right back in there. <laughs> Alright, I'm dropping sails. Wait for me, I've got booty! Ah, not the booty! No, not her bodacious booty! Not me, you monkey! With the crew back aboard, the first piece of our quest was finally in hand, and we traveled onward to Plunder Outpost, where we would have a chat with Madame Olivia, the Colonel's contact. Pray enter and take respite. I am Madame Olivia of the Order of Souls, and your arrival was foretold to me. As was your quest to seek out and destroy the abomination once known as Briggsy. She hands us a book that will lead us to a key and chest. Upon acquiring these items, we will exchange them for the whereabouts of the traitor's Captain Briggsby. The first riddle tells us about a small island where one of her crewmates, Captain Avery, is hiding with a key. I think it's on Chicken Isle. That's where I would hide something from the Colonel. I think it's on Fool's Lagoon. You're a fool for thinking that. No, it's not. Am not. It's perfect. I think it's Paradise Spring, a more perfect spot for a relaxing getaway. Guys, guys, it's obviously Castaway Isle. With the crew divided, we tried each other's ideas, starting with mine, of course. But we would slowly discover that we were all fools in the grand scheme as we finally made our way to Castaway Isle. Who are we looking for again? Captain Avery, is that you? Meet my drunken crew. Oh, I'm gonna die. Wow, you really are gonna die. I was coming to help, but, well, you've got quite the following. Help me! I can't drink my grog in the middle of them! I can't help you yet! I'm drinking my grog! 
Destroy him! Destroy him for the colonel! I'm bringing the barrel ashore! I need to refill! Yard, ye yard! Ah, confusion! Ah, there's so many! This is what I live for! I'm gonna use your booty to get a bigger mug! With nowhere for Captain Avery to hide, Emily and Lulu surrounded him and savagely clubbed him upside the head till he cracked open like a watermelon. Oh, we got him! Ooh, he dropped the key? Oh, he got me, that little rat. I got you! Got the key! I got a pee! Hurry, bring it to me, so I can look at it! With Captain Avery being a puny level one in hiding, he should have picked a more wiser spot. Lulu gracefully rips it from his neck and hands it to me. Upon touching it, we all gain the perk Bootylicious, giving our booty a bump in value. <laughs> With this key, we are one step closer to Briggsy. The next riddle talks about a large island on the western edge of the ancient isles. There we will find Captain Blake, the skeleton charged with hiding the chest. We search a couple of islands before making our way to Plunder Valley where Emily and Lulu catch a whiff of our prey. I hear him, but I don't see him. The one dude sounds like Smeagol. <laughs> the book shows him in a cave underground. I see a cave over here. The crew began to search the cave where they stumbled upon Captain Blake and his cronies. This is so hard. I'm just running into walls. Ha ha, we found him. Drinks up. Yarg. Cheers. Drink, drink, drink. Ah, oh, uh, there's too it. many. Stop. Stop it. I need alcohol, damn it. Drink, drink, drink. Eat lead, you yellow bellies. They got me. Oh my lord. Shit, I'm down too. No, no, no. I don't want to go to the ferry. Me crew, although a savage bunch, were only worth half a pint. After a quick refill on the ship, they went back for round two. I'm tired. There's no time for sleep. We must slay him. Do we have to? Yes, we have to. The guy is over here. I don't know. I'm going to need more grog. I'm moving the barrel. Get back, you cretins. Oh, I got the captain. Is he supposed to drop another skeleton key? Wherever you guys found him, search there for a chest. All right, back. He was here. like okay, over this here. Is the entrance. Aha! There should be. There it is. Here it is. I can't see a thing. Emily, give me a hand. Yes, more grog. Oh, never mind. Is that enough light? Yeah, right there is good. What's going on? Lulu, bring me the chest. Me crew discovers a chest hidden by Blake, and Lulu once again brings me what I desire. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, at long last. <laughs> With all the pieces collected, we gathered in my quarters to celebrate like true pirates. Cheers, mates. A job well done. By chugging some grog and opening chests. <laughs> Once I grab the key. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. I can't see what's inside. Whose idea was this? I don't know. I'm drifting out the back door. Someone help! <laughs> it was the captain's idea. The captain is always right. I I don't get it. It's full of junk. Whatever, let's get out of here. With no extra booty for us to pilfer from the island, we set sail back to Maddie and Olivia, where we will complete our end of this bargain. Upon reaching Plunder Outpost, we see a sloop docked at the island, and I send me scurvy crew ashore to secure the island before I bring the ship in. They seem cool. The one dude looked epic AF. Yeah, he says they're getting off. All right, cheese. Come back and grab the chest for Olivia. Emily says they are friendly merchant sailors, so we form an alliance and pull the ship in closer. With the island safe, cheese delivers the chest. Here you go, madam. Two pieces of junk, just like you ordered. All those Briggs, these precious treasures. Let me see. Tell no one what you are about to witness. There are some secrets that even we, the Order of Souls, are forbidden to share. With the Order's magic, this compass will point the way to Briggsy. Wow, this magic stuff makes me thirsty. To the tavern! Oh hey, you need some music, mate? What, you don't like my song? No worries, I've got a different tune for you. <laughs> While Chase performed this drunken assault on another pirate's anus, we broke our alliance and started pummeling his ship with cannons and firebombs. Ha ha ha! 
a pirate's life it be. After a quick reign of terror, we left the outpost to set our sights on Captain Briggsy. With this new compass that points in the traitor's direction, we find ourselves heading towards Mermaid's Hideaway, on the edge of the open ocean. As we approach the island under the cover of darkness, the air gets thin, and I send the crew ashore to uproot this weed of greed. Oh yeah, she is definitely here. Bring her to the shore so I can fix these cannons. We have successfully tracked down Captain Brigsby, and now the time has come. Drink up, everyone, and bring forth the unnatural strength of Grog! Ah! Arg, I'm ready. Ooh, we coming for that booty. She's almost within range. With the rising sun, Briggsy came within range of my long nines, and I unleashed an unholy amount of balls at her face in an attempt to knock some sense into her. We've been at this for a while. Keep hitting her! Time for the big guns. Oh, what are this? Magic I've been saving for a special moment. Give it a try. Oh, I like this. Whoa, easy there, Grandma. Keep that away from the boat. Hey, Briggsy, I got a new toy I want to show you. Hey, piss off! Emily, with her new love of magic, would go on to single-handedly defeat Briggsby, and we would crown her the Pirate Queen. Oh, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I hit her with the glow stick. What more can I do? We threw everything we had at her, but resilient she was, as we struck her with swords and guns of magic. But nothing was working. She's eating a banana. Ah, I need to eat a banana. Shit, no! What did I even get hit by? I just really want to kill you. Oh, I keep dying. The whole drunk thing makes this really difficult. Briggsy was a mighty foe, as she cut down the crew one by one. But with me still hammering her from the ship, it was just a matter of time for this traitor. New strategy? She just has all the health. I tried magic and it wasn't working. We shot about 200 cannonballs at her. And boom, she's dead. Yay! Yay! Woohoo! Your prize, Captain. It's a shame, really. If only she was more agreeable. Aye, we plundered these seas for far too long. But with the ship now full of gold and glee, we all hear a... Within an arch of rocks to the west, a green portal is born. This must be the colonel calling us. Knowing what must be done, we sail towards the portal, and we all gather at the front of the ship. Into the vagina! The water grows silent and the air turns sour as we go through the portal to the other side. This place is mysterious and cold, but just within sight, I see an island. I guess we just get off here. Your guess is as good as mine. I don't see any instructions written on the back of Briggsy's skull. So how are you supposed to deliver the skull if you're not allowed on land? Ooh, what if you can fly here? Don't be stupid, he can't fly. Ah! I broke my leg! You did it! Ow. Ow. I'll be okay. Ow. Grab the skull. I'll be over here. Ow. Alas, I was able to go to shore once again. Perhaps this world works differently. We kept following faint signs of pirates past, jumping through a maze of caves, when we entered upon a mountain of booty. Ooh, I'm glad I bought a new bucket. Hi, Emily, quickly give me a hand. I'm on it. No, you must not steal any booty from here, as the consequences could be dire. I warned the crew of the penalty for stealing from the colonel as we climbed our way out of the cave system. Once out and perched atop a hill, I could see a town. This is where I came from. This is where I will meet the colonel. Everybody wait here, and don't touch anything. Last thing we need is to break something. Hi, Captain. I could use a rest. Psst. Hey, Lulu, look what I found. Emily, we're not supposed to touch anything. Eh, finders keepers. Besides, it smells really good. Whoa, that does smell good. Reminds me of sandalwood. Hey, is that gold? Oh, I wonder where it leads. Let's follow it. Whoa. Whoa. What do you think it means? I bet you there's booty around here. Let's start digging. I'm tired. How long have we been digging for? We're close. I can smell the booty. I'm smelling your booty. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I found something. You weren't kidding. It's a chest. 
Oh my god, I can't believe you were right. I'm hoping for a big pile of jewels, so I can make a dress. Mmm, I want a kitty. Yes, a golden kitty with jade eyes. Open it, open it, open it! Ooh, it's a coin! Ugh, my one chance of finding the mother load, and I get a coin. Hm. It's so shiny. If you don't want it, I'll take it. No, it's mine! You found the bottle. This, this is mine. Cheese, wake up. Arg, the pirate has no penis. What? What? Where are the girls? Um... Emily! Hi, here they come. There you are. I started to get word. Where did you two run off to? Oh, um, uh, we were just hanging out at the tavern. Yeah, we didn't touch anything. Just like you said, Captain. I've got the money for my contract, and there's a dinghy waiting to take us back to the ship. Let's go. Aye, Aye Captain. Captain. Aye, Captain. Now that we have gotten paid, we all piled into a dinghy and cheese rowed us back to the ship. From there, we slowly sailed through a thick fog accompanied by other ships in the Colonel's fleet. When the fog lifted, we sailed aimlessly towards the horizon, and we were suddenly thrust back to the Sea of Thieves. Man, that was weird. I'm glad that's over. Aye, a terrible place that be, and I wish to never return. What do you think, Emily? Emily? Uh-oh. Lulu? Where did they go? I don't think they're coming back. No! <laughs>